Well, hello again. Welcome to my channel. I'm Fraser from Metalworking in France. Um, today I've got a little project on. Uh, I've done one of these before, a few videos back. Uh, it's a shaft that uh, goes onto a machine. Uh, the taper on the end of it is uh, quite badly knocked around. So I just need to refurbish it a little bit. I'm not going to take all the marks out. I'm just going to take out uh, enough so that the whole uh, tapered area uh, is nice and clean and you know and, and it'll it'll locate well so uh, watch me as we continue with this I'll show you what the shaft is I've, I've actually already mounted it in the lathe uh, it's not fully mounted but I'll, I'll go through that procedure as we go on okay so follow me in the next few frames to see what uh, what happens with this job okay so here you can see the end of the shaft is quite uh, quite badly knocked around. Uh, I'm going to try and see if I can clean this up a little bit. Obviously I can't get the tool post in there at the moment because of the tailstock. So I, I'm going to put this, I'm going to mount uh, this whole uh, centre steady on so that uh, everything can be held firmly and then I can, I can take the tailstock off, off the lathe completely, then I can get the tool head in to, to machine this face here. Okay, so watch as we progress with this. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just clamp this unit in place. Uh, this comes here, so we'll clamp that down on there. I'll just bring these, these copper bushes or brushes into position. Uh, luckily I've left the center on so that uh, so that I can get it lined up basically and then these have just got to be taken in so they're just touching the, the steel here to, to support it. So that should now run quite smoothly. I'll put some oil on the on the bushes just to just to make sure that uh, they don't they don't overheat at all. And, uh, and then that's ready to go. So the first thing I need to do is to remove this uh, stop screw basically. Uh, it just stops the tailstock from sliding right off the end when you, when, uh, when you pull the, the tailstock back. This can now be just pulled straight back. It's quite a heavy piece of kit so uh, you'll have to bear with me, I might be doing a bit of grunting and groaning while I lift this off. Okay, so there you go. Oh. A fair old weight in that. I'll just put that down securely out, out of the way. And there we have a, a nice clean run at the, at the back end of this, this, this shaft. As you can see, I'm now machining this taper. Um, it's, it's coming out quite nicely. I've got to be a bit careful initially because uh, where this has been knocked around a bit, it's obviously work hardened to a certain extent. So there's a work hardened skin on it, basically. Uh, so I've got to be careful while, while I just take that out a little bit. Um, it's not too heavy. I can't take too heavy a cut, really. Just got to be a bit, uh, a bit canny with it so that uh, once I get through that hardened skin, then uh, machining it shouldn't be too bad. So uh, I've speeded the video up a little bit just so that you can see what, what goes on. Right, so there we are. Uh, it's reasonably well cleaned up. It's not brilliant, but I had to take some off the face as well, because obviously by reducing the, the diameter of the cone, uh, it was going deeper into the, into the socket. So I've had to take some off the end here, probably about four or five mil, that's all. Just so that when the cone goes, when the, uh, the other part goes onto it, it, it doesn't bottom out into the onto the end here so it'll sit on the on the taper so that should be fine now okay okay so now i've put the lathe back to well to standard working condition uh, everything back uh, in on zero zero degrees and we're all ready to start work on the next project when it comes along okay so here we have the shaft uh, Nicely cleaned up. It's not brilliant, but uh, and this is the the cone shape that it uh, that will fit into. 
I'm not going to try and pick it up and put it in there to show you because uh, it's a two-handed job um, and I've only got one hand at the moment because I've got camera in the other one. Okay. So there you are, another shaft uh, nicely machined up and cleaned up, ready to go back into production on the machines. Okay, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, it's one I've done before, but uh, slightly different, different shaft, obviously, so uh, principles are pretty much the same. But I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, look out for more videos in the future. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my site. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, goodbye.